Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose XBL bringing you another video and as you can see from the title We are going to be giving you my description of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer and then I will give you my thoughts So yes, the trailer was leaked and I do have it on my computer. I have it recorded on my computer I'm not gonna upload it to YouTube because I will get a copyright strike and that will be very bad and I don't want that But I will try to get it to you guys somehow I mean, it was up on YouTube for a little bit, but then it just got taken out immediately. But maybe, I don't know, I'll try to get it to you guys somehow. But, um, anyway, so let's go on with the description. Okay, so I'm watching the trailer right now as I describe it. So we're getting, you know, this New York skyline, and now we have Paul Giamatti. He's driving in this truck. This is the guy who's supposed to become the Rhino. And he's just, he's destroying everything. He's driving through police cars and just a bunch of crap like that. And then Spider-Man rolls in. And then you kind of start getting this um, Spider-Man 2, uh, Sam Raimi, Spider-Man type of feel with it when he starts giving this narration. And he starts saying, you know, it's like, you know, what's awesome about being Spider-Man? And then he's like, everything. And then he's given like this really cool narration that really changes the tone of this film compared to the last film. Or at least from what I've seen so far in terms of this trailer. Um... And then, you know, he stops Giam uh, Paul Giamatti in the truck, and he's being all cocky whilst doing it. You know, he's just he's doing it very easily. And then we get this really comical scene where he's talking to Aunt May, and Aunt May's like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm about to do laundry. And she's like, no, last time you did that, all your clothes turned blue and red. And then he's taking his time thinking of an excuse as to why it happened. He's like, I was washing the American flag. And, um... And it's a very funny moment, and I really enjoy the tone with, that we're getting with this film, is that it's much more of a Spider-Man feel, you know? It's not dark and gritty like the first one was, which was still not bad. But yeah, it seems like it's going to be a much more fun tone, and the characters are just going to have a little more fun. So then we get, you know, Rhino just causing a little more destruction, and then Spider-Man saves Max Dillon, who, Jamie Foxx, who eventually plays Electro, you know? Everybody's cheering. And then he kind of just, he makes the guy feel good about himself. He's like, nobody notices me. And he's like, he's like, I'm a nobody. And then he like slicks his hair correctly. And he's like, listen, you're somebody. He's like, you're my eyes and ears out here. And he makes him feel good about himself. And it's really, really heartwarming scene where you can really tell as to why Max Dillon is just so obsessed with Spider-Man. And then, of course, we get Spider-Man completely humiliating Paul Giamatti, pulling down his pants and everything. It's funny, man. I really enjoy this trailer. Um... We're moving on, and Max Dillon, of course, he's kind of talking, and he's explaining how much he adores Spider-Man, and he's like, you know, don't you wish that you could be this guy, you know? And we get a couple more shots of people just truly just not noticing the guy and just completely ignoring him. And then Mary Jane starts saying, you know, oh, I love Spider-Man, I love that, but I love Peter Parker more. And then he starts saying stuff like, you know, this is my destiny. Hey, I got to do this. Listen, shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, and then we get a really good scene of Dane DeHaan, who plays Harry Osborn. And he's sitting and he's looking at um, his father, who is, you know, Norman Osborn. And then, of course, we get Max Dillon's transformation into Electro. You know, he, he gets electrocuted. He falls into a pit of electric eels. And bam, he is turned into Electro. And this looks like a very sad scene. Because you see someone who was so, like, you know, just... He felt like a nobody. And then you see something really tragic happen to him. Which just transforms everything about him, you know. And you can tell from the rest of this trailer. So moving on, yeah, like I said, we get Dane DeHaan. And he's looking at his father, Norman Osborn, who's in bed and he's dying. The way they explained it in the first film. And, um... And yeah, it's very sad. And then we get Electro. You know, he's like, he's like, all I wanted is for people to see me. And it's just crazy. Just then the action just starts building up now. And Spider Man's like carrying a bus, trying to save a bus. And there's like a bunch of different crap happening. Electro is just like realizing his powers. And it just gets action freaking packed. You know, he starts like just. Like, he has no real real control of it, and he's just electrocuting shit by accident, you know? And then he starts getting badass, and he starts turning into a villain. And then he's like, I want to make you feel the pain that I did, or something like that. And then he's like, I'm Electro. And it's just friggin' crazy. Shit hits the fan. Just action-packed for the rest of the trailer. 
cars flipping around, electricity going all over the place, people just running in panic as he's just shooting electricity all over the place. And then cuts, he just he blackout in the whole city, and then just like a friggin' energy feel, like an explosion of electricity just knocking down buildings, and then we get the logo and everything. Crazy friggin' trailer. Hope my description kind of helped you out. Oh, the very last scene is there's a car is about to drop into a policeman, and Spider-Man saves him by carrying the car. He's like, need a hand, and that's it. Hope my description kind of helped you out with um, your imagination and seeing what you saw in your head. In terms of my thoughts on the trailer, it's friggin' badass, dude. Like, it's four minutes, and you kind of do get a little bit of the whole general plot and what's what might end up happening. But for the most part, I didn't really see the whole movie as a four-minute trailer usually would do. So, you know, it doesn't look too bad. You know, um, I'm, re I'm really glad that the tone is a little more brighter and a little more Spider-Man, if you know what I mean. Like, where it's just, in the, in the last movie, it's nothing but, like, tragedy and sadness happening to him. And the only real brightness that you get to it is his relationship with Gwen Stacy, which is very, like, uh, not off and on, but it's like, it comes in late, you know? It just, it, it, it really, it steps in late, so... With this film, so far from this trailer, it definitely looks like there's a much more brighter tone, and there's a lot more happiness going around, and a lot more jokes and fun happening. But, yeah, so tell me if my description was good enough for you guys. I hope it wasn't really going super fast and just making your brain explode. But, um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can find a way to get this trailer to you guys for you guys to see it and view it for yourselves. But other than that, I'm CabooseXBL. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.